Right, question number three, we have hyperbolic tan inverse x equals ln, so ln5. So remember, if we have an equation involving the inverse hyperbolic tan, use the definition for the inverse hyperbolic tan. So remember, let me make a note in red, the definition for the inverse hyperbolic tan of x is 1 over 2 ln 1 plus x over 1 minus x. So that was the definition for the inverse hyperbolic tan of x. So if your equation involves the inverse hyperbolic tan, use the definition to help you. So if I use this definition, I'll have ln, uh, half ln rather, 1 plus x over 1 minus x on the left. That is equal to ln 5 on the right. Now, let me multiply both sides by 2. So if I multiply both sides by 2, I'll get ln 1 plus x over 1 minus x. That is equal to 2 ln 5. And 2 ln 5 is the same as ln 5 squared, which is ln 25. So I have ln 1 plus x over 1 minus x. That's equal to ln 25. And in this case, remember, if we have a, a term of the form ln a equaling ln b, that implies a equals b. So if I use this result here, ln 1 plus x over 1 minus x equals ln 25. That would make 1 plus x over 1 minus x equal to 25. So now we have a simple equation to solve. So if I cross multiply, 1 plus x equals 25 into 1 minus x. And if I were to expand, 1 plus x equals 25 minus 25x. If I move my x terms to one side, so if I take my x terms to the left, x plus 25x is 26x. That's equal to 25 minus 1 is 24. So x is 24 over 26 and that cancels down to 12 over 13. So that is the solution for x.